Welcome, in front of me is a Sony Xperia 10 Mark III and today I'll show you how to enable and set up the portable hotspot. So to get started, you'll want to pull down your notification panel straight from the top and look for the hotspot toggle, which looks to not be actually enabled by default. So you want to tap on this pencil right here, scroll down and look for the hotspot. Oh wait, never mind, it is toggled on here. It's right there. So I just didn't see it. So anyway, once you find it, you can hold it the first time around. This will quickly take you to the settings where you will be able to customize it. Stop right here, personalize the hotspot, and then select things like your password. And as you can see, this password is just randomly generated, not very easy to remember or provide to someone. So let's just remove it and set our own. Now that password, your new password, needs to have at least eight characters in length, at which point you will be able to save it. And that can be letters or numbers, it doesn't really matter, or both. Now additionally, you can also change the hotspot name. Uh, default name is just the name of your device. Then we have security. Keep this as it is, otherwise your hotspot is unprotected and it, anybody can connect to it. Then we have AP band, which allows you to choose from 2.4 or 5 gigahertz. I do recommend you to go for the 5. Uh, the network uh, st stability will be better with it and also data transfer is a little bit faster. So overall you get two benefits. And the downside of it is not every device will support it. Now, majority of the devices purchased in like last four years, five years, should support five gigahertz. Uh, though it really depends on, on the device and how expensive it was. Um, so what the manufacturer actually implemented. So if you are not sure if your device supports 5 gigahertz or not, uh, that you will be using to connect to this hotspot with, uh, then what you can do is toggle it on to 5 gigahertz, save it, and then toggle it, like turn on the hotspot. And when you go to look for your hotspot network, which would be in this case Xperia 10 III, uh, and you don't see anything in that uh, by that name in your Wi-Fi list, that just means that your device does not support 5 gigahertz. And all you would need to do is go back in here and change it back to 2.4. And as you can see, as an example, I'll just kind of show it right here with my phone. So right here, you can see that it is uh, nowhere, even though I know that my device supports it. All right, I haven't turned it on. So let's give it a second and you should see it pop up right here. And there we go. As you can see, my device supports five gigahertz. Now on the newer devices, you will see right here, uh, it will basically say if it's five gigahertz or 2.4. So that's a little bit of a benefit, but that's like I said, a newer devices. So anyway, um, we have also last option right here, advanced, and you can set up whatever you want. So turn on hotspot automatically, which I do recommend keeping on and then uh, make network name uh, discoverable. Also keep that on. So once you've gone through all the settings to turn it on, all you need to do now is tap on the toggle, which I did already turn it on, but see, so you do, you do this and you're done. So anyway, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.